Hello, welcome to episode 11 of our Ostrov Alpha 4 Let's Play. It's October 1730 and we are looking at a lovely view of the town from the river. We have some fishing docks that were built last episode, as well as another school and some more houses. And yeah, they're getting, they're getting right to work doing some fishing for us. And we have six houses up here with very large yards. And they're in the process of building six houses now with no yards kind of fill out this secondary area over here. As far as fish goes, we've got producing dried fish at both of these, and they are drying in batches. And then we've got boatyard workers that need to get to work repairing boats. But maybe the boat is not back in yet. Yep. It's going to be one of these three. Yeah, this guy. So he's got to go back in to get repaired. He's all out of boat juice, I guess. Let's check in on our lime kiln right here. Still not full. Well, it's going to take a little while for that to get done. And this, this single guy right here has been going down here so much, he's created a road. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, he's been going to town then, because this is only... Wow, okay. Well, good for him. He'll be busy for a while. We, again, we can't do anything with our lime works until this uh, lime kiln has had its first burn cycle. Uh, uh, I guess it's this house they just moved into? Yes. Okay. Pretty good. Looking just fine. This house is now done as well. See, granary-wise, we're looking pretty good. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. The farm is already all harvested. Look at all this cool stuff, huh? We've got all sorts of goodies, and they're going to be making some oil. Sunflower-wise, I really hope I didn't accidentally set these to... Okay, good. Because that is the saddest way to waste sunflowers to feed it to animals. You, you got to make your stuff out of it. Oil workshop is getting supplied slowly. So I think really we're, honestly, we're doing pretty fine as far as food supply goes. We have one child. Where do you live? Okay, she lives here. So when we get to a point where we have more... 10 to 15 year olds, then that will probably be a much busier school. Ah, you come to buy more stuff, huh? Hey, get some charcoal while you're here. We got tons. Sunflower oil, don't mind if I sell that to you as well. So I think it might actually be time to get into, uh, into the leather making in this episode. So we will have, by the time all these houses are done, we should have almost 200 residents. So... If I can remember where the tannery is. There it is. All right, so the tannery, the thing about the tannery is it consumes a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of resources. So you almost certainly have to have it right next to water. So we probably ought to put it right about here. Yeah, let's put that right there. And then, so what this will do is this will take, I believe, lime, salt, bark, and water, and convert that into tanned hides. Obviously, the hides come from the slaughterhouse. And so before this gets done, we really need to make sure that these guys get their uh, limestone done. And we need to supply for this as well. Yeah, so the quick lime is what comes out of here. They will be busy with that. Is there a is there a well over here? Or do I need to build another platform? I should probably build another platform down here. Let's actually have that done before this house. No, we actually just need it before that uh now nah, we'll put it here. Because this, now that I actually have people doing this, they should should start this relatively quickly. I was hoping it would be done already, because we have to get this going before we have any uh, 
any leather production. But we have plenty of hides, which is important. I wonder, is it worth it trying to find enough people to do a construction office? Eh, maybe not quite yet. The town is still pretty small. We can mess with that later. But our seasonal hiring has taken effect. And now there's just one person working. It doesn't seem to me that the uh, fishing docks are producing any dried fish so far in the winter. Uh, they don't have any here either. So I wonder why. Is there even any dried fish? Okay, they have, they have some. They have a small amount. We'll probably need to have a lot more uh, fishing docks eventually. All right. Salt. Oh, we can sell salt now. Yep, we're selling that. Uh, we have some sunflower oil, so we'll sell that. Um, good, I'm not doing that. I thought I would be dumb. Now, I do want to make sure that we are holding on to sunflower oil to sell. I don't think we are. That's actually not great. So why, why are we not stocking it? I just must have overlooked it. So let's go ahead and... Uh, at least make sure we can stock sunflower oil there because you know it is kind of important to feed your own people before you, you sell the stuff to other people Let's see sunflower oil do their 500 here so we really at some point need to figure out how to make more uh, sunflowers so we probably need to add another field that's in that sunflower rotation we have two right now but we really should have another one. So let's go ahead and actually do that now. Just another small field like this. We'll go maximum length here. And do that. And then they could get to those trees. They will get right to work on that. And then once that's done, that will be the same rotation here. We'll start it on sunflowers, because that one's going to be on hemp, that one's going to be fallow. And then that should solve most of our sunflower supply issues, I would think. They need to get that going. Um, this, okay, so this is almost full. This is much fuller than the last time. There's just a little bit left. So they will layer, at some point, eventually more limestone, more charcoal on here. And, oh, they're actually waiting for it to get mined, so that makes sense. If I hire another person, does that... Yes, okay. So we're actually waiting on that. That's fine. Yes, things are looking pretty nice. If I do say so myself. House is right here. Working quite well. So we should have, yep, two pupils. These two. And that's that kid. And I believe the other, yep. She's living right here, so that's working very well. Fantastic. As long as this field is cleared and ready to go by March, should be good. And that will give us eight fields on this farm, which is probably the most you can expect reasonably to be tied to a farm, depending on field size. We do have three very large ones. So we should be in a pretty good position. Anyway, they're going to keep on working on that. Got houses over here, so this is actually developing quite nicely here. I do think when we have these uh, two houses built, we'll be pretty good as far as job supply versus people supply, so we can probably keep that stable for a little bit, maybe a couple more houses. But I see people talking about uh, water things I've seen come up a little bit. We have two wells here, two wells here. We'll have another one here that should be enough for this area. But we will see if that needs to be addressed. We can take care of that. All right, so they ought to be pretty close at this point. Right, the tree is freaking me out. Okay. So that's just about done. I would hope. As these guys are mining their limestone. So they live... Oh, okay, they, live, they all live far away because there's no, there's no houses down here yet. We will get there eventually. I want to see them. I want to see them do this before I go away from here, because I can't ever remember if there's an animation or if it just kind of disappears. But I think 
We might we might not see anything. Okay, yep, they're reserved. Yeah, so that's that's gonna be a little bit before it really does anything. Okay. Well that's the way it goes. You win some, you lose some. There's still eight trees left. Hurry up, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Because if that's not done before they start planting, I guess it I guess I could start later. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. Wow, they just whipped that log around. Do you see that? Like turbo speed. It's like two guys picked it up and then it just did like a 180 type thing. That's kind of weird. Come on. There's only six trees left. The snow's melting. We're running out of time. But at least there's a, uh, a platform here. Is this done yet? Okay, so I think this has to get to 2,000 first before they can really get anywhere. So they're almost there. Five trees left. Come on, hurry up. They're going to be fallow, buckwheat, wheat, fallow, hemp. Okay. Come on. All right, I guess I'm not patient enough. So now, during this, we have six, seven, six women looking for jobs. Do we not allow laborers? Okay, no, we do. Huh. I wonder why these cows are all at the one corner of this. Huh. How's our pigs looking? Okay. Yeah, so as these are... Wow, that's a lot of boars. As these uh, pigs grow up, they will be able to get eaten. Three trees. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry up and get these trees out of here so we can make this into sunflowers. I guess as long as we can plant before April or May, we should be okay. Okay. Can I sell you anything? I can't sell you that. Can't. So I can't. Four hundred and twenty. So somebody asked in the uh, the comments of another video if they can smoke the hemp. Well, I don't know. There you go. Not legal here. Might be legal where you are, but I'm not going to get involved in any of that. Dried fish. We're not stocking for sale. Leather. We're not even able to make yet. We do have four thousand hides. This might be the. Most will let me... Uh, oh, there's no limit for this building storage. That actually works out in our favor. So they just have one tree. I think it is this one little log right here. As soon as that gets taken away, we should be good. Cool. So let's go ahead and pause. We're going to make this into sunflower, hemp, and fallow. Let's double check these guys. So they're on hemp. They're fallow, so they'll be on sunflower. Activate. And this should immediately go to get plowed as soon as people are able to actually plow it. Hopefully they don't skip, because then you get less of a yield. But that, hopefully... Oh, and then this path will go away because they can't go in the field anymore. All right, that makes sense. There we go. There's the plow coming down should be good to go in just a moment just watch them go to town here yeah all right so that's good that'll be fine the well is complete uh, uncheck production there okay those were already unchecked very good so now they're building the tannery and that will be done soon enough okay so this is just about ready i believe and then, of course, it will do a burning cycle. Once that's actually done, I swear this takes the most amount of time out of any of this. It has been 800 years. Right, so once the tannery is done, I don't remember this being a particularly interesting building to watch get built, but we can observe the last few moments of it anyway. Yep. All right, so the tannery... Allows you to choose batches. Uh, so we'll go ahead and supply here by all. I think we can do... The, the trouble you run into with the tannery is if the people lose the jobs and it doesn't get filled, then the, uh, the batch will spoil. So we'll go ahead and do three batches at once because I think we can support that. And on my last playthrough, I increased the wage of all of them for a while. 
so they wouldn't leave to go work another job. Might not have to do that because I had some really weird stuff going on with all my farms. I had seven or eight farms and it was a town of, at one point, a thousand citizens. So I had to really juggle resource management. But yeah, you see right here, it's got all of this. We should have enough hides. We're not going to have enough lime. Not quite yet. Because this just has to get done. I don't know, for whatever reason, it just is really slow. Probably because it's far away. But we don't have anybody working here yet. So we'll go ahead and open a couple of positions for that. I think we already checked this. Yes, we did. So they can at least start supplying the water. But these guys are going to try and gather the materials. I don't know if we'll have enough salt right off the bat. Um, We might not, actually. But they'll only start a batch if they can actually... Wow, what are all these people? Okay, no, 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 no. You guys got to go do something else. Come on. There's way too many people doing this. So they, they won't work on the farm, but they'll work taking stuff to the tannery? Okay, I see how it is. So this tells us what we still need. Bark, I don't know that our forestries are even producing it. So let's go ahead and uh, turn that on. So they are going to need bark. So that will be fine. Uh, we just We really need these guys to get this done. They've supplied the water, they just don't have the quick lime because the quick lime hasn't burned in the lime kiln yet. Okay. Well, that is what it is. So all this is looking fantastic so far. Pigs are looking more manageable. Yes, indeed. Very good. Cows are looking good. School, still those two students. Wow. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Zero, zero. Well, now there's one woman looking for a job, but hey, that's about as good as you can ask for. We can uh, build a couple more houses, get to 200. But I don't know why this has taken in multiple in-game years to do this one patch of the lime kiln. Do I have to pay them more money? Is that what this is about? I think they just don't want to do it. So they're going up here. Yep. They just don't care. Well, no need to pay them that much money then. They're just waiting. Waiting and waiting and waiting. So they've got... So all these people need now is lime. And they'll get there. Maybe. Eventually. Who knows? We'll find out. So, per the church on this island question, I don't want to rotate the building because then I won't be able to place anything on the grid ever again until I restart the game. But this will fit. We just decide if it goes on this end or this end. There's stone here, so probably not this end. I would imagine it has to be here. And then we'll have to build bridges. And then we'll figure out where stuff will fit. We won't get there in this episode. But it's always good to kind of think ahead a little bit. I think that's funny, this... uh. This little trail right here is still there. It'll go away eventually. Let's see, what else can we be looking at? Okay, so the smithy is full. There's a bunch of nails. This is full because there's a lot of bark. Well, the bark can go. Nope, that warehouse is full. Tannery. Yeah, well. It'll hold more bark. They just have to do it. We can we can definitely cut that down though, so we don't block off the rest of the stuff. I think we might be in some trouble here, so let's go ahead and build a couple of warehouses down here, right up next to the tannery. Just like so, maybe. Come on. Come on. There we go. Can I fit a third? Oh, no way. Are you serious? It's like right on the water, practically. Well, that might be dumb, but you know what they say. If it's stupid and it works, it's not stupid. So they'll do that, and this can be just for all of our tannery item needs. That'll be a very convenient place for them to have that. Have they started burning yet? No! Astounding. I did not think it would be this much of an ordeal to get that done. 
Anyway, so our tannery, of course, salt, hides, bark, and lime. So we can go ahead and do salt. We'll just have this be the full 10,000 for all of that. Okay, what are these people? No, can't sell that, can't sell that, but I can sell charcoal, gladly. And just because, let's buy salt. I know I said we're never going to buy salt again, but if we do that, we can get this primed and good to go. So we've got salt there. This one can be hides at 10,000. Very good. And then this last one can be bark. Right there. Very good. So then we can go to another warehouse that's already functioning and just copy paste its settings just like that. And that will help our men have jobs in the wintertime. But laborers will keep filling this up no matter what. Although we should probably limit the laborers to four for each so it doesn't steal too many people away. Has this burned? It still has not. I can't believe it. That's annoying. So we have all these open vacancies now. We can probably build some more houses, but let's check this out first. So this isn't super bad right here. Got a couple houses, a couple houses here, some benches. Yeah, some people are using them. Now it's just a simple thing, but that's fine. I don't think I want to put any houses right here. Maybe you could put one here. That might be uh, that, or it could be a better spot for something like a cart shed. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Will a cart shed fit here? Oh, it will. Okay, that will be fantastic. So let's go ahead. If I can fit a cart shed and a warehouse, I don't think I can. But if I put this here anyway, then I can plant some trees next to it. That might be nice. So we'll put a cart shed there. You can never have too many cart sheds, you know. So this is a good opportunity. Replant a couple of spruce trees over here. And that can make this area look a little nicer. Let's see. Is this going yet? Nope. Why did I even bother? I, don't, I can't remember how many this actually needs to start, but it must be some insanely high number. Okay, so that charcoal is done. So they shouldn't have a problem. Just, it's ridiculous to me how long this is taking. I just, I want to, I just want to get this going here. All right, so the bark is going, hides are going, salt is going. Again, they still just need the lime, quick lime, whatever. That's fine. No housing available. Well, we don't really need to build any at this exact moment, so we're doing okay. And things are progressing pretty well, I will say. Not too shabby. More fish, more fish salt-wise. We oh, we have tons of salt. So that's good. That will be fine. This cart shed is more or less halfway. I think things are progressing pretty well. I don't know about you guys, but judging by the comments, you guys seem to like what's going on in here. Is this done yet? Oh, jeez, come on. That's going to be the recurring theme, I guess, is that being really annoying. I will pay you twice as much as everyone else to come do this job. If you'll just do it. Maybe it's 5,000, because that seems to be what the cap is. Is this... So it seems we are beholden to the uh, limestone miners. We are going to... We're going to run out of limestone after a couple batches again, aren't we? That happened to me in the last playthrough, and it was kind of annoying considering how much of an emphasis this game seems to place on all of that stuff. But this is almost at 5,000, so I guess that's the, uh, the limit for that. All right, so that cart shed is done. Let's go ahead and order the carts. Supply for all that. We'll go to a different one. We'll adopt their policies. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that, actually. Maybe there's a season? No, no. We'll, we'll just 
We'll just do that. Let them all work. And that opens up a ton of vacancies, so we can have more houses. Hey, that's what I like to see. Look at that. All right, so that's burning. And when that is finished, judging by the rate of speed at this at 12 times game speed, sometime in 1845, then that'll be done, and then they can get to work making lime. And then when that's done, we can have our first batch at the tannery. But now we've got more carts, and that's always a good thing. Still looking fine for supply here. Salt is looking good. I wonder why. I guess I can open all five slots up here. We really should be running buildings at full capacity if we can help it. I guess we should probably commit to that. But we can build up more housing in the next episode. That could just be the house building thing. We have 30 open vacancies, more or less. And that would be quite annoying if that is not taken care of. Let's see, farm-wise. Okay, everyone's harvesting at the farm. That's probably why. But they are moving right along. And they should be able to get a pretty good thing going at the oil workshop. This is burning completed. So now they're using the quick lime. Okay, there we go. So now this should be pretty close, and they should actually start. Yeah, I think he's going to get... He's going to get, uh, what do you call it? Lime. All right, so what do these guys want to buy? I will gladly sell you salt. Don't have any sunflower oil yet. We're not exporting lime or dried fish or sell or anything. I think we are good. All right, so they are, yep. So they will be just about ready to start with batch one. And then it starts all over again for batch two and all over again for batch three. But this usually takes a few months ago. Yep, tanning until March. So I guess six months. But that will be done in March. That'll be next episode. And then we can start with the shoe workshop. But we can go ahead and build that now. Shoemaker's workshop. So where do we want to put that? I would say probably should be somewhere up in this general area with the rest of our buildings that are doing things. Why did I make that back up to that? Whatever. Uh, let's see. I'll put that. I wonder if we could actually do... I'll go ahead and build two. Because we're going to have a lot more than we know what to do with once this uh, tanning is all finished. But that is just about all the time we've got for today's episode. Now let's see. What do we want the, uh, what do we want the cover of this next one to be? Maybe the tannery, since that seems to be what we focused most of our things on. So let's get that right there. We'll take our screenshot. Actually, I'll move that. That way we can get the windmills going. There we go. Well, that's all the time we've got for this episode. And we will see you in the next one where we start making some shoes. I've been looking forward to it. I appreciate all of you who have been along for the ride as well. As always, thank you very much for watching and engaging in the comments and for all the support. I really appreciate it. But we'll see you next time.